Here's another exercise you can try to really understand betas. Try this out because you've got a long weekend coming, right? It's going to be a nice weekend. This is what I'd like you to do. Walk over to 8th and Broadway. Take the N or the R uptown. Not downtown, uptown. So I'm being very specific. Don't blame me if the wrong things happen afterwards. <laughs> I'd like you to go uptown. Get off at 60th and 5th. You writing this down? I'd like you to walk downtown on 5th Avenue, from starting at 60th. And as you walk downtown, I'd like you to stop in front of every business and very loudly ask the question, if that business were traded, what kind of beta would I expect it to have? <laughs> you're saying, why loudly? People will think you're crazy. And that stretch of 5th Avenue, that's a good thing. The tourists will cross over. Crazy New Yorker coming at me asking about betas. I switched to VHS a long time ago. I've got DVD players. What is he talking about? <laughs> So you've got the whole stretch of 5th Avenue in front of you. Everybody's done the stretch of 5th, right? Let's go for a virtual walk. Ready? 60th and 5th, walking downtown in 5th Avenue. What's the first business you pass? Apple. I'm going to hold off on that. I have too much of a bias with Apple. Let's keep going. What's next? What is it? Berg, you switched a home. You jumped a block. Bergdorf Goodman is the other side of 59th. What's before F.A.O. Schwartz? High beta, low beta? depends on who's making the list. <laughs> I still remember when my oldest is now Northwest and 18, when he was eight years old, I remember bringing in into town, into the city. Euphemistically, we used to call this coming in with the dad to work. This is what happened. He'd take the train in with me. He'd get off the train. He'd want a snack. So he'd give him a snack. He'd go to, go to the baseball card store. Take him to the baseball card store. He wanted the Mickey Mantle rookie card, not today. And, <laughs> You can have uh, the Scott Schoenweiss rookie card, no? It's very cheap, right? right? So, uh, then you have another snack, and then you go to a toy store, another snack, and the snacks were big. Around 11.30, he said, Dad, I want to go home. But we haven't got to work yet, right? I don't care about your work, Dad. I got what I wanted. Let's go home. So, but that day was close to his eighth birthday, so I took him into FAO Schwartz. And there was a Ferrari on sale for $8,000. Pretty cheap, right? It's a miniaturized Ferrari for an eight-year-old was everything. I still remember what my son said. He said, Dad, if I don't have that, I will die. <laughs> I said, I don't think so, Ryan. Let's walk around. If you're drooping on the verge of death, I'll drag you back in here, get to the car, put you in it, and drive you home. Okay? <laughs> Ten years later, he seems to be okay. A lot more discretionary than he made it out to be, right? <laughs> so as long as I'm making the list, so high beta. Let's keep going. What's across the street? It doesn't have to be a store. The, the Plaza Hotel, right? Now it's a Plaza Apartments or whatever it is. It, as long as it's a hotel, high beta, low beta? Beta. All you have to do is walk into the plaza to figure out what the economy was doing. Then you cross 59th. Notice you hit the French-Italian section of town. You know what I'm talking about? Gucci, Ferragamo, Car high beta, high beta, high beta, high beta. <laughs> You actually have to hold on to your wallet as you walk by. I've heard they charge your credit card as you walk by the window. Right? 58, 57, 56. And you're starting to drag all these high beta. You have no income. Not a good match. Then you get to St. Pat's, 54th, 53rd. Don't ask high beta, low beta. Right? Lightning might strike you down right there. Right? <laughs> then you, cr you pass Rockefeller Center. Have you noticed the beta start dropping? An amazing number of Dwayne Reeds start popping up. <laughs> It's almost like they're trying to get you. Okay. Keep going. You get past the New York Public Library, 42nd Street, beta start hitting rock bottom. Then these stores. The windows are covered with brown paper. There's a guy in the doorway saying, come on in, cheap, cheap. Cheap what? Just come on in. Okay. You see tourists going in, they're not coming out, right? Okay. Different kind of risk. But let's say you make it. Good, 40 seconds. But let's say you make it through the gauntlet all the way down to 34th. There's a guy selling umbrellas only when it rains. Do you notice this? On the way, one of these days I'm going to hang out on 34th Street, hide and watch. I'm convinced he pops out of the ground. Right? Umbrellas for sale, $8, $8. Piece of crap will fall apart by the time you get home. But what could be more non-discretionary than an umbrella in New York City? We've got a backpack, you've got a laptop, everything's going to... If he ever figured out a way to incorporate and trade, he'd have a really low beta. You tell me what you do, I'll guess your beta. But let's reverse it. I'll give you a name of a company again. Given its products and services, you tell me what kind of beta you'd expect it to have.
Coca Cola. Let's face it, you've got to get really desperate to go down the generic cola aisle in the grocery store, right? <laughs> You're hiding behind it. Oh, I hope so. nobody saw me there right now. <laughs> low price, brand name kind of converge, low beta. Right? How about Philip Morris? All you have to do is walk through New York City on a cold winter's day. And if you're a Philip Morris executive, your heart must be warmed by what you see, right? What do you see outside every building? Huddled masses. I won't even say smoking, because that suggests you're enjoying yourself. They're inhaling. They're saying, please let me last an hour, just one hour, and I can come back again. Here's a little secret. If you want to make your company have a really low beta, make your product or service an addiction. <laughs> And hey, don't pick on Philip Morris. If the Gap could addict you to khakis, would they do it? Absolutely. They could slip a little drug into the khakis, say, come back every month, buy a new. They'd be doing it. It doesn't work for them. They've tried, I'm sure. In fact, advertising is a strange way of saying you, you can't live. You can, remember the, that Gap ad? You won't dance if you don't buy khakis. The jitterbug and a little. Uh, yeah. So they're basically trying to put a little seed in your mind. It didn't work with the Gap, but with, with Philip Morris, it did work. 